everyone, welcome to another video. I am in a role recently with um, Style Hauls. It's my favorite kind of video to film. You know I'm all passionate about styling and putting pieces together and hopefully inspiring you. Literally, it's a mess everywhere. There's labels, hangers, everywhere. Um, I filmed a high street haul, a premium high street haul, um, a previous luxury retailer, and now I'm on to my last one, this one. I've also filmed some IGTV videos that are completely different to the items and the pieces that you've seen in this, the, all these videos. So I wanted to make sure I change it all up a bit. So make sure you follow me on Instagram to check out some IG styling videos. So let's get into it. Because it's a luxury net porte haul, there are only a few pieces, but it's all about the pieces that you pick, the quality pieces, and hopefully this means that I'm not going to be talking so much because I only have four, five, six pieces. So the first thing I'll talk about are my earrings. They are Alexander Rich oversized pearl studs. Such an obvious choice for me. I love pearls. I love Alexander Rich accessories. Um, and I just love them. I tried these on when I first bought my first pair of earrings that I bought in Harrods. And they had these and I tried them on. The rest I bought online. And I really wanted to buy these. But I just thought... Even though these were the cheapest pair, I thought I've bought like four pairs now. I need to, but I need to stop. So, um, oh, I should probably also touch on the disclaimer because I know it's very important and I respect that. If you click the title, a drop box will open and it will show all the links to everything I'm wearing, including things like my rings, my eyeshadow, my foundation, my lipstick. Everything will be in there, even to the camera that I use. All the side re references will be in there and there will also be a disclaimer about what I bought and what I was gifted. Um, and Ernest Porte are one of the brands that I'm very proud to be working with. Um, so it's an honor to be working with them and be able to create more hauls like this for you. So yeah, those are the earrings. They are extremely comfortable. The other ones, obviously, because they're huge, oversized, dangly clip-ons, they do get a bit, obviously, it's inevitable that they're going to be a bit heavy. But these I have no problem with. And I just love a statement earring for when you're on the go. It can fancy up any outfit. And I think these are actually really great for work. I think these are actually whatever job that you do. I think they're obviously not everyone. Like if you're a nurse or something, you can't really wear these. But they're ones that can kind of make your face look awake and not be too overdone and more importantly not too heavy you can actually wear them all day so i'm a huge fan of those one of my top tips for traveling is always pack a small jewelry case I actually have a really beautiful de beers one but you can have any one um, and i put lots of jewelry in my suitcase when i go away i always take it in my travel on as well even if it's custom jewelry because you can wear a simple black dress white tee and jeans but it's how you accessorize it that makes it your style and unique to you. I've actually filmed, I was talking earlier about IGTV styling videos, I found the most stunning little back dress. It's premium high street, so good quality, a really unique shape, very flattering but also fairly, well it is affordable, pretty affordable and it's a beautiful black dress that can be worn on its own but I've actually styled it five to six ways, I think I did a little bit more in the end, of how you can make it look edgy, boyish, feminine, and it was a really fun video to film, so go check that out. Next, I have something that I've wanted for a very long time. I stalk Net Porte New Inn every day. It's just something I do in the morning when I have my coffee, or if I'm waiting like at the dentist in the waiting room, I'll be on there. I just love seeing their new in section and I also love Net Porte for their styling. I've always really saluted their styling. If I ever want to buy something, I'm always checking how it's styled there. Um, also for like how they photograph things, they're actually not all websites photograph things. The amount of times I've bought like an earring and thought that it was some huge earring or huge necklace and it's come and it's like minute but it's because they don't try it on with the model and they do that there. So anyway, let me talk about this because it is so long. This is a beautiful cashmere Chloe cardigan. Um, I'll make sure I film it without the ring light so you can see it under natural light. I've wanted this for a very long time. I was a bit worried about it being cream because I am one of those people but uh, it really does it justice in cream. It's very soft and cozy. Just look 
at this win arm and when I try it on you'll just see how amazing it is there's a picture over on my Instagram of me wearing this um, so go check out that it's just incredibly warm incredibly cozy I love the hood I just love the pattern of this that is in the the silhouette pattern and I love this faded embossed Chloe logo that you can see but not see and it's a real splurge product but when it is cashmere and it is warm and it is practical because it's warm and it is really super soft and feels lovely um you can almost i mean because it's branded it's always going to be a little bit overpriced um but it just has everything and i'm just so happy to finally have it there were so many ways i envisioned wearing it i wanted to wear it of all beige tones and brown tones i knew it would look fantastic with a pair of jeans um, and I've also got a pair of fab jeans to share with you. It's like my fourth pair that I have. Um, so such an amazing piece, like a real statement, luxurious piece. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to treasure. And they also have the jogging bottoms as well, which I'm very, very tempted. So I'm really happy with that. It's not really something you can wear under a jacket because of these huge, huge wing sleeves. But it's such a statement in itself that I'm just so happy. I could literally talk about it all the time, but I think we've established what it is. Um, next up are these jeans. So I'm a huge fan of Levi. I'll always say that. I think they're just your standard, good quality jean. And they're just timeless. You don't need to keep buying them. Girlfriend Denim is a brand that I discovered a couple of years ago on the Revolve website as they're a brand from Revolve. And I stopped buying them because it was just too extortionate with shipping and customs and you know sometimes jeans don't fit and it was so impossible to send them back i once sent something back and never actually got the new ones and i was so excited when nitaporte started stocking girlfriend denim it meant i could try them try all the different styles send them back without any hassle but the reason why i love girlfriend denim so much is they have that classic heavy denim fabric um the buttons everything about it is just that classic style they do really great cut off denim i think it's called the cat the kate kayleen kaylee something like that but these are my favorite jeans because they've got a slight boot cut and they've got a split seam at the side so they're really great for not like the front split seam like i have in my tailored trousers it's on the side but you can still see the beauty of any shoes that you're wearing uh, that's why I like wearing crop jeans because I love my shoes and I love being able to show my shoes whilst I'm wearing jeans and with this you get to do the long, long elongating jean style but you can still see your shoes and they really wash well they're just a fantastic brand of denim and they're definitely in my top three brands of denim brands that I love I can't recommend them enough I have a black pair I have a size 26 that are far too small for me now. Uh, that's how long ago I was buying them. Um, now I am a 28. You literally buy your true to size. On the website on Revolve, it says run big. Buy, it, buy the size down. And I disagree. I think they're true to size. Um, and I also have a ripped pair and two of these plain pair. So this is my second pair just because I live in them and I like to just have a like so I can alternate them basically. So I bought those. Absolutely love them. This top, do you know, I can't even think of the brand. I think it's Stain and Goya, something like that. It's a brand that I, I didn't take any notice of the brand. I just fell in love with this. I love the kind of iridescent pearl sheen it has to it. I love wearing baby blue. It's one of my favourite colours. I love the high neck, the puff sleeve, the little gold detail. And I love collecting nice tops that I can put away. And whenever I need the nice top and jeans look, I have it. And they're just so wearable. It's so wearable literally just to put with anything. And the price is really reasonable for this brand. And they also have a really beautiful dress that's really similar. So I'll link that below um, for you to have a look at that because it's really mm. lovely. And it literally is the most perfect tone of blue. And I love this pearly sheen. A real classic, amazing top to keep in your wardrobe. 
and sorry if you watch my videos all the time i know it's repetitive but i do know that i have new subscribers or just viewers coming on because they want to see this kind of video i always stress to buy a top or a dress if you see it and put it away because then you don't have the stress of panic buying or going to find something for an event um you might be worried that it's going to be out of fashion or out of trend but actually it's even better because it means that no one else is going to wear it and you should always just wear what you like I had to talk about this, I'll just touch on it because we've already spoken about it in a haul, but it's my totem blazer that I bought myself a few months ago, and it's such a fantastic blazer to have. I do have a Zara one that's very similar, but it's even though I bought it two size up, it doesn't have that oversized silhouette, so it doesn't give the same effect. Um, and these are also slightly ballooned in the sleeve, um, and I love the crossover double-breasted button, and it's just it just has that oversized look down to a T and although I am I'm quite an average size and I do have quite small ankles and wrists but I'm not very petite so it doesn't swallow me up but then again I've seen lots of petite girls wear this and you know when you have the confidence it's all about confidence to pull something off so never worry that you're too petite for something or too, too tall for something it's all about the confidence and and how you feel and it, it, you have to work on that more than anything so I'm um, like getting something completely different, but I just wanted to touch on how amazing this buy was. I was a bit dubious about buying it because of the price, when it's just a black blazer and I can buy one from Zara. But I can definitely confirm that I've been wearing it a lot and it just has that little something. This is also another thing that I showed you before, but they just deserve a second mention because they're so beautiful. These are the Aquazora um, in collaboration with Anissa, who is a jewelry designer, a French jewelry designer. And I always say that I would never buy strappy shoes. These were actually um, a complete random gift surprise. I received them in the post one day because they were an exclusive for Nest Forte. Such an amazing surprise. Um, and I wouldn't buy myself these in a like plain strappy. Stuart Wiseman, um, Gian Vito Rossi, quite a few brands do them actually very reasonable and they are worth the price because they're so comfortable. So it's worth it, but I wouldn't spend a fortune on black strappy, but I would when they've got something as exquisite as that. And they're very comfortable as well. They don't feel like I'm on stilts or anything. And they're just a real go-to pair of shoes uh, that just literally go with everything. So I wanted to give them another mention because they sell out really fast and they're back in stock. I bought myself these the other day. I'm a huge fan of cowboy boots. I know it's not for everyone, I've always bought cowboy boots. I remember I bought my first pair, they were brown. I've still got them somewhere from Faith. I don't even know if that place even exists. I think it was a part of Topshop, I can't even remember. And I've always loved them. I love Dolly Parton, Elvis, and um, I actually don't want them to be a trend, but I'm always going to love them. I have the most amazing white pair from Texas, and two years later or the summer after they became like a real trend to have white cowboy boots which i hated i think that's blown over but my point is i bought them in white and i bought them in black and they're slightly different and the black ones are insanely uncomfortable and i just don't know why so i wanted to get a new pair of cowboy boots and i loved it how these aren't so western they don't have flowers or stitching or embroidery but they have some sort of detail and i these are zimmerman by the way i don't think i mentioned that I love it how you can take these off um, and just pop them back on really easily and it gives it a completely different look. I really love that about it. Um, they also come in white as well. And I wear a lot of dresses and you know I like to buoy up my looks with boots like this. They're very comfortable. I bought true to size and they're pretty perfect. Um, and it was just something that I kind of had my eye on and one day I was just like, bye, I want it. So I'm um, really looking forward to wearing these. I'm going to take them to Capri with me um, and wear them with a couple of dresses because it's kind of warm there, but not hot. So I think there's some pretty dresses with my totem blazer, these, and also my acne leather jacket, which is such a good buy. I think I have it here with me. I'll quickly show you that because I recently bought it for myself. No, I don't have it. I'll insert a picture of me wearing that here because it's actually also online at net -Porte. There's the cropped one. They also have this exact one in baby blue. And it's again a really amazing luxury investment that I bought myself. Um, so I think that's the end of the haul. I've filmed so many hauls the last few days. Um, 
kind of overload of information but hopefully I explained everything well to you hopefully you love the pieces um, and got inspired to buy a few I just saw this in the corner that I haven't spoken about I've already spoken about this before so I won't go on about this even more but again I just wanted to talk about something that I bought and you worn it a lot I've had it a few weeks and you don't really know until something's amazing unless you've worn it a few times but this is the most amazing color it's my favorite kind of muted nude i always get compliments when i wear it especially on instagram um, and it's from like a color i bought it from netaporte and i also have the black one i bought one in the small one in the medium and they're both pretty similar so don't worry too much about the size um and it's just something that looks so good it even looks great with this see how you can dress down a pretty top like this and it's like with a pair of jeans you're good to go so yeah they're all my pieces um, check out all the other haul I've literally got from high street to premium to a couple of luxury hauls again lots on IGTV as well lots of beautiful pictures on the Instagram because I'll be wearing all of these kind of bits in Capri um, and anything that I haven't worn yet they'll they'll be coming shortly so I hope you enjoy I've got the hat on I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, this video uh, I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you in the next video I'm such I'm so silly. I completely forgot to unbox something new for you. I was already too eager to try everything on and I'm actually already taking off my jeans, but you can't see that. So, um, another piece. I know I normally show you new in. Also, I've lowered the camera now, so sorry about that. Another piece. No, start again, Claire. I, I'm all lost now because I was about to start the cutaways I know that I normally just show you new in pieces but I also think it's important to go back and show you pieces that I've bought that are really worth buying um, just to let you know that I don't just disregard things I still wear them which I think is really important um, and also you might be still thinking about something so these are another I know I love these earrings but these are another uh, accessory that I bought myself that they're in stock on net and and these just look so fabulous with everything and I think these will be iconic in a, in a few years time and there'll be something that I just can't wait to keep these in my wardrobe and hand them down I just think they're so beautiful so before we continue I have a beautiful pair of shoes that got delivered they were a special gift from Mr. Porte, but I did pick them. Um, and the reason why they came in a separate bag is because I had an issue with the sizing, which I will talk to you about. So these are Gianni, Gian Vito Rossi shoes. I'm a huge fan of these shoes. Yep, they're the correct size. I got my first pair around around 2015 I went to the Dallas conference and it was actually my first proper time working with Netaporte and they asked me to pick one thing and I picked uh, these some Gian, Gian Vito Rossi shoes and they are the black classic ones with the peep toe I'll insert a picture here I mine are a size 38 because that's what size I used to be I was always a 38 and as you get older your feet get wider and then you get lots of problems with your feet like I do and I love them so much and it's so painful not they're literally are painful because they're too small but they're still immaculate and I try to squeeze my feet in it's actually got to the point now where I'm just going to rebuy them in a size 39 and I also adore the nude ones I'll put up a picture here of me trying them on just to confirm my size they are the nude and perspect um lower heel which are 85 and the higher one is 105 I really like both of them and I couldn't decide and I actually really love the the 105 pinky nude in painting but then I thought these were very practical and seeing as I love the new Manolo heel I thought that I would give it a try and go for this lower one as well I just think that they're really cute to wear to a wedding and I wanted something that wasn't too high um, and also I just love that look of a little heel with a pair of jeans so really excited to wear these I'm really excited to replace my other booty shoes with a size that can fit me so I can wear them again. They have them in stock at the moment. They don't have my size, but they are, there are plenty of sizes there, so I'll put them in the link below. And they also have a brown colour, but I'm looking for the nude. If anyone sees them, let me know. Um, so yeah, they're the new shoes that I forgot to show you. I can't wear these. These will be coming to... Can't wait to wear them, and they'll definitely be coming to Capri with me. And another amazing brand 
of comfy shoes if you're looking to wear heels but need them comfy. With the sizing, they do come true to size. I did try them on the other day in store. Um, I did order a 39 and because there's no give in this perspect here, it was a little bit tight. I could fit my feet in because all of this is perfect true to size, but you, it was too, there wasn't enough give and although there's holes for ventilation, the 39 and a half was better. So I ignored the net porte slide advice where it says go half a size up. So always listen to that because they're pretty spot on when it comes to this kind of thing. I just didn't see it and uh, uh, a lesson learned that I should always listen to them. So yeah, buy half, half a size up if you buy these perfect style, but buy true to size in any other uh, Rossi shoes because they're pretty true to size. So that is definitely the end of the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.